Good morning guys, it is the start of Travel Diaries episode three or four, I don't even know anymore. I'm about to head to the gym. Hopefully I'll get some footage for you guys, but um, yeah. Okay, so this is actually my first time trying the Noka, which is like no carbs company. Um, Caribbean has 180 milligrams of caffeine. It's super hyped up here. First impression right now. So it's opened. Here's what it looks like. Well, that's what it looks like. It's like the limited edition summer flavor. Now I'm gonna try it. First, it smells all like just like a pineapple drink. Okay, guys, this is really good. You guys know I drink monsters. <laughs> this is really good. This tastes like heaven. And it also has the BCAAs, it has caffeine this is a better option than monsters so if you live in like scandinavia and i think they have some in america then definitely try this out this is the limited edition summer flavor but yeah it was good i'm gonna drink the rest of it and then i'm gonna hit my workout okay guys so i wanted to do a little bit of chit chat while i'm here exercising this gym is honestly amazing this is like one of the best gyms that i've ever been to just because when i'm hitting legs there's so much equipment to use i feel like i'm at home and it's nice to feel like you're at home when you're traveling and the gym is basically my second home anyway but this is really awkward for you guys to see so enjoy this exercise right here the next one is actually one of my favorites here just because i can do this at home or i can do this you know in the gym you guys can do this with a gallon of milk and hold it above your heads if you want but this one just helps activate my quads hamstrings glutes everything actually and your core as well when you're putting the weight above your head i'm like maybe 25 minutes into my workout and i'm like sweating and stuff but basically the big thing is one message i want to come across with this video is no matter what you're doing make sure you do your all and do your best because it might look like it's easy but if you're giving 110 percent then it's not easy and then the next one is just alternating step ups these are supposed to be quick pace for a minute at a time and then you take like a 30 second break go again it's hit training this is going to elevate your heart rate super great i actually am drenched in sweat here this gym has given me a new motivation just to really kill it in the gym and as you guys can tell i'm a happy little clam or whatever you guys want to say here but i had my little brother film me and then after that i did wall ball squats they have so much equipment at this gym though that i just feel like i can play around and try new things which is really nice and it's just like motivational finished my workout you guys saw most of my exercises the only thing I didn't show on there were the kettlebell swings it's like a 45 minute lift getting back into the routine especially when you're on vacation you have so many excuses I don't want to gain any weight because I know I'm just gonna have to work it off when I hit August somehow I convinced myself to go and do cardio not really sure how but I'm really sore guys oh my legs are so fatigued out but it's gonna be good it's gonna be a good session after that, I just did some cardio, kicked my ass, and then we were done. Ask me how hard it is to bike after leg day, and I'll tell you that I basically feel like it's equivalent to jumping off a bridge. Alright guys, I just had the sweatiest gym sesh and you guys are going to end up seeing a NOCO video probably before you see this vlog because the vlogs are like a week long of footage and then I just put it all together. But I'm going to hop in the shower and my bruise, if any one of you are on my Snapchat fan, you guys know about the whole bruise situation. It's getting better but it's still dark. Now it looks like a circle with like a little hole in it that's like normal skin color but it, 
it's like healing from the inside out. I can't wait to get into this. Um, my favorite dressing right now is Rhode Island, if anyone's curious. And I have this cute zit that's forming, so that's nice. All right, guys, so today I'm heading to Lund, which is like a university city. You guys know the current place that I'm in is more like a Riviera beach town, really nice. Um, but yeah, no, I'm heading to Lund today for a student. A student is just like a graduation. I'm waiting at the train thing right now. Um, it's about a 40 minute train ride, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, we're gonna be going there. And then after that, we're going to like a student. I'll show you guys some clips. It'll be really fun. I'll try to vlog. I have, I have a video I have to like upload, so I'll be sitting in a coffee shop because I really need to get this video up. I promised you guys I wouldn't miss a lot of days and I've already missed like one day I think and I don't want to do it again so we're gonna go get on the train and sure. get this party started Basically, we're going back to the train station, getting on the bus, and then we're going to a student. Oh, they've yeah. been waiting for us! But um, this building's super cool. Do you see that? Gorgeous! Do you guys see that? Gorgeous! Guys, we are getting on. Stop in the middle. Let me get a smile. Hey, hey! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so the last time that I checked in with you, I was like on the bus, or I don't even know if I checked in with you guys, but I took the bus, I took the train, all that stuff, and now I'm here. Look at how beautiful this place is. Like, I've made so many memories in this area. Like, it, they were a long time ago, but they were really fun. And um, now we're here for a student, which is like a graduation. Um, I think this is like one of the last ones I'll be at. But look at how pretty this is. There's actually a river like all the way down there. And it's just so green. It's just so nice to go back to a place that I recognize and know and like I've made memories there. But it's really pretty. I would show you, but I don't want to like invade people's privacy here. So yeah. <laughs> There's Chanel. She doesn't realize that I'm filming her. This is what not what I was signed up for. Wow. Look at him. There's the graduate though. Aww. I've known him forever, guys. It's pretty crazy. No, but it was really bad. You can, it's fine. He'll think it's cool. Okay guys, so I promised you guys a gym tour because you know it's always busy in here and everything so finally for this vlog I'm going to show you guys like where I'm training at currently because everyone's been super curious. You guys have seen my snaps and how like there's so much equipment in here. So there's a reception room which is like over there but then this is the part with the equipment and then there's like another section of equipment and an entire upstairs. So like there's a room entirely over there which actually I'll go into because there's nothing, there's no one in it. I don't think there is. Basically, in here, there's an entire room with like circuit training, that's what they focus on, but like anyone can go in here and work out. Tons of equipment in here. Then there's here, then you go over, I need to get lighter. Okay, so it's probably not gonna lighten up or anything, but like once you go over here, like there's so much freaking equipment. And then there's an entire row over here of just like equipment. And I think there's people working right now, so I really shouldn't be filming. But like there's an entire row over here of equipment and then like all the way through 
but I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna walk back over here. I've seen a lot of my snaps are in another area just because of, you know, less people. But then there's all of this over here. Then when you walk over here, so like there's a spinning room in there, there's all this. And yeah, there's literally one person in here, but normally it's a lot busier, which is kind of why I chose to show you guys it now. Basically, there's this entire room covering him. You guys see almost all of my snaps are in this room. Then there's an entire upstairs part, but like I'll show you guys that when I go and do my cardio because I have to go do cardio today. Okay guys, so since I finished my shoulder workout, I know I showed you guys the downstairs, but now I have to go upstairs and do cardio anyway. So this is the room. It's very pretty. Eee, punching bags. There's like literally all the equipment here. And then there's even like a section with all this. But we're just gonna go upstairs. This is one section. Which is mats to stretch. And there's all this. There's even a yoga room in there. That's a yoga room, guys. So here is the upstairs section. I decided to do a voiceover because, as you guys know, sometimes when I'm vlogging, I'm chewing gum. And I am a major gum smacker. And the microphone, like, picks it up anyway. But basically, there's a ton of equipment up here as well. And it's so nice because... There's multiple like machines, there's a ton of cardio and lifting stuff up here and then also I'm doing my cardio. I was watching a very very long YouTube video so I think at this point it was like a 26, l oh just kidding, it was 30 minutes long this YouTube video so then I was able to hit stop and be done. All right guys, so I just finished up at the gym, currently ducking, but um, I finished up at the gym. It was a good workout. I had a really sweaty shoulder session. Like, I don't know if I got it on footage, but it was super sweaty and I was like dripping the entire time. I have boob sweat. Like, it's a good workout when you have boob sweat. Um, besides that though, I'm vlogging and I'm biking one-handed. Sorry mom, sorry dad. And also it's a lot healthier biking to and from the gym rather than taking your car. Like it's a waste to be taking a car when you can easily bike here. So like, it's just a norm to bike here and it's a lot easier and it's a lot nicer and I really like it. But now I'm biking back home. I have to get up this really steep hill guys. It's gonna be torture. This is, this is the dreaded hill. It doesn't look high. You gotta get a lot of inertia. Get you up. And then you gotta turn. So you gotta come up it. And then like, look at how cute that is. There's hammocks over there, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this vlog. There are a few more coming and you know, I really like making them. It's kind of fun to give you guys insight on my life and everything. If you guys enjoy these though, let me know in the comments down below because I am traveling and I'll be in Sweden for, by the time this goes up, I'll still be in Sweden for like another week and then after that I head to the other countries. So I'm really excited to show you guys like when I'm exploring a little bit more, but you know, this kind of gives you guys an insight on like things that I do during the summer and I try to show you guys like the healthy meals that I'm eating and the next one hopefully will have a lot more in it and more culture because the 
last week is definitely going to have like midsummer and just I'll be like a lot more into the whole like Swedish stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, add me on my Snapchat, follow me on my Instagram. There's tons of content coming and I'll talk to you guys later.